Hi Postcrossers, this is another Sunday video where I show you my weekly postcards. The postcards I receive from Postcrossing, direct swap, surprise postcards, surprise letters, stuff for my collections, everything that came on snail mail. I show you here on my videos, on my Sunday videos. Let's start. This week was a really good week. I received a lot of postcards. So let's start. The first postcard that I received came from Germany and it's a cat postcard. Here, look at the expression of this cat. Very cool cat. And on the back side, finally, I received my first postcrossing stamp from Germany. It's a very cool stamp. I like them and I hope to get one uh, out of uh, postcard to put on my collection. The next one came also from Germany and it's also a cat postcard here and also came with a postcrossing stamp. It's funny, a double cat postcard, double postcrossing stamp and those were the postcards, the official ones that I received from Germany. And now let's move to another country and it's the neighbor of Germany. It came from Austria. And the, um, this postcard was sent by Ule. I think it's pronounced like this way. And she sent me another cat postcard. This one is watching the outside road it's in a window and on the back side cool stamp here and, and so thank you for your postcard now let's change country and continent and this one came from Canada it's a Japanese postcard very cool one of the traditional uh, theater or dancing from Japan. And on the back side, uh, let me see. Wendy sent me these two beautiful stamps. This one reminds me Christmas time. And so it was a very cool postcard. So thank you, Wendy, for your postcard. The next one came from another different country and another different continent. Now we move to Asia. The next uh, three postcards came from Japan, one of my favorite countries and culture. As you know me, I like very much uh, Japan and Japanese culture and all the pop culture of the, uh, these, this, the land of the rising sun, anime, manga, and stuff like that. And this postcard was sent by Mika. And she sent me a cat postcard. Another cool cat postcard. And on the back side, she asked me how to say cat in my mother tongue. My mother tongue is Portuguese. And cat in Portuguese is Gatu and in Japanese is Neko. So thank you for your postcard, Mika. Domo arigato. Another cat postcard, another postcard from Japan, but this one is special because this is a cat postcard, but from a Japanese animation, anime, and from one of the most important um, directors from Japanese animation Miyazaki-san and this one it's from an anime called uh, in Japanese I think it's Neko no Ongayashi and in English it's Cat Returns so um, thank you for your postcard Mio-chan Mio uh, on the back side she sent me a very cool stamp from Doraemon, the cosmic cat, and those 
old stamp. This stamp is from 1974. I didn't know that Japan can use old stamps in these days. So it's thumbs up for Japan because here in Portugal you have the time to use stamps. For example, when a stamp released uh, today, I think uh, the stamp will value till two years, for three years, depends on the other release. And the last postcard that came from Japan, it's also from an animation, one of the most important animation ever. It was the first anime aired in Japanese television in the 60s. And the anime and the postcard is this one. It's also my avatar in Post Crossing. In Japanese, it's Tetsuam Atom. And in English and American, it's uh, Astro Boy. And on the back side, um, let me see, Satomi. Satomi-chan put very good effort with some uh, washi tape with cats, washi tape with traditional Japanese houses and very cool stamps. Um, I have this one on my collection, so thumbs up for this anime postcard. And those were the official ones. Now let's move on to the surprise postcards. And the first one came from Canada, from my cool friend Rob. He has also a YouTube channel about postcrossing, about collecting stamps, about Lego. It's a very cool uh, channel. Uh, I will leave the link below on the comments to you for you check his channel. And he sent me this very cool and vintage Japanese postcard. I don't know if... Uh, okay, let me see... It's this one. It's like this. And on the back side, he decorated with full of washi tape, uh, Halloween washi tape and some stickers. It's a very cool postcard. So thank you, Rob, for your postcard. And I hope we trade more and more often. And now we move to we leave postcards and now i show you two letters that i received um, one from uh, england from my lovely friend Jilly. she sent me a cool illustration postcard with a cat a blank one for my collection or for write to another post crosser and then she sent me two mint stamps with cats for my stamp cat collection I didn't have this one so it's very cool thank you Jilly for your kindness to send me a cat postcard and these two new stamps and the last uh, letter that I received came from the Netherlands and it's free postcards uh, for my girlfriend because she started collecting uh, meeting postcards and world postcard day and i asked for her these free and i trade with a, a dutch girl and the first one it's this one very cool and very beautiful i like this paper dolls the next one came also like I said from Netherlands it's another meeting postcard okay and the last one it's this one with some icons from the Netherlands the meal, the houses, the I don't know how to say this in English, but the true the traditional shoes of um, Netherlands and on the back side 
here are some signatures and stamps from the persons who were in this meeting. And that's it. That was my very good week. I hope next week will be the same or more. Of course, I want more. Every, everyone wants to see uh, their uh, mailbox full. So bye bye. Now it's time to write more postcards to get more postcards. And that's the way how we grow our collection and how we make new friends all over the world. So bye bye and happy post crossing.